everyone. My name is Mo Yuk. Um, what hearing about the introduction of bridging communities together. Uh, so I'm a contributor to the Trubic community, and as of yesterday, we're starting an initiative called uh, Coin Protocol, also to bridge communities together. So uh, one of the you know, two of the communities we'll be bridging are kind of universities in the east and universities in the west. Uh, just around research, mainly around security, and uh, some of the things we're working on are around emerging forms of cryptography that relate to like, privacy, which is important for transactions and for businesses, uh, quantum resistance, which is a priority there. So one of the universities is National uh, NUS in Singapore. They're working on a project called uh, Quantum Resistance Coin. We'll be working with them. Another piece of research that came out of NUS was uh, around the verifier's dilemma, and a professor called Pratik Saxena and one of his students, Jason Toich, and uh, that solution to that problem became true. So, obviously the decentralized web is kind of the goal, what we're working to enable. Uh, really the challenge that exists is that in the decentralized ecosystem of like Ethereum, uh, you kind of make a lot of trade-offs. And, you know, big data requires a lot of storage, requires a lot of computation, you need privacy, communication, the blockchain offers immutability and equality, but, Ethereum has what's called a gas limit, uh, and not getting too technical here, but essentially miners, without the gas limit, miners, so do you guys, who knows what gas is? Okay, about half. Okay, so gas is what is the unit that you use to pay for computational cycles in an Ethereum smart contract. So a smart contract is a piece of code that runs on every single Ethereum miner's nodes, and there's a limit to how much computation you can do because without it, miners would have an incentive to cheat. So without the limit, miners would include potentially submitted smart contracts for computation without actually doing the computation, and therefore, you wouldn't be able to trust that the computation was accurate. They would do that because miners are always in a race to compete in order to earn a reward, right? So because of that, there's a limit, but because of the limit, it really limits on how much computation your contract can do on the blockchain. Oh, I think I went ahead of that. So what Truvit solves is it helps take, it helps solve that verifier's dilemma by moving a lot of those computations off of the blockchain and letting people verify, you know, what what's called, uh, you know, anyone could could run the like a large contract. So let's say you have like a gaming application uh, and it does a lot more computation than can be done on Ethereum within the gas limit today, Trubit would let solvers solve that off of the blockchain and earn a reward. However, there would be a requirement to be able to uh, validate that. So what Trubit is, and this is very technical. <laughs> so, so really what, what, what it comes down to is Instead of doing the computation on the blockchain, you would do it off the blockchain as a solver, and then there would also be uh, validators that would, you know, that that are running the computations themselves and monitoring the solvers to make sure that they are not cheating to earn the reward, and they can take people to court, which runs on the blockchain. And, and challenge someone if they solved it or not. And the reason that works is because of a lot of complicated math. 
Uh, but essentially, you go step by step and check at different points to make sure the computations are synced up. And if they're not, then uh, you know, there's a penalty that's incurred for cheating and a reward earned for spotting it. And uh, you know, the deposit's lost and the, the, the challenge helps keep people stay in check and uh, helps solve some of these scalability challenges for Ethereum. So everyone, uh, take out your phone, if you don't mind. And we have an announcement to make for Shrubit. Follow Shrubit Protocol on Twitter, and we just released a new white paper around some use cases around OSHA Protocol, how AI use cases will be using Shrubit, as well as uh, Vipeer, and how video streaming will eventually be moved into the decentralized world by using Shrubit. And if you have any, uh, Questions, please find me or the guy in the tinfoil hat over there later if you'd like to learn more about these use cases uh, or learn more about you know helping bridge communities together. Thanks.